You're just getting started on Show It. You just got all of your copy inserted, but now you're wondering how the heck do I even add a photo? Well, let me show you how. Hi, my name is Carissa and I'm a Show It website designer dedicating to helping you launch your website quickly. Now, if you're struggling with your photos as you start to customize your website and show it, you've made it to the right place. At the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to add and replace photos edit photos, how to add and remove photos in your galleries, and where the heck to even find photos in the first place. So let's not waste any time here. First, let's talk about how to add a photo. And lucky for you, it's actually pretty, pretty easy to add one. My recommendation is to have all of your photos ready in a single folder on your computer before you even upload them into Show It. And if you're following along in the series, you already have all of your photos uploaded into Show It. If not, I'll touch on the cliff notes now. When you're in Show It, all you need to do is just add all of your photos to your media library. Then they'll always be there for you to choose from when you start to customize your website. So then you just find the photo in your design that you want to replace double click that photo to open up your media library and then choose the photo that you want to add. It's really just as easy as that. If you want to add a photo to the canvas in a place where one doesn't already exist in your design, you'll just need to click the media library icon here at the bottom. And then you just select the photo that you want to add, then hit add to builder to secure it onto the canvas. Now on to editing that photo. Now you might notice that when you replace the photo with your own, that it might be a little bit off-centered, maybe it's cutting off your head or something like that. Thankfully, you can make adjustments super easily and quickly on your own. On the right editing panel, you'll want to hit the image section at the top to make your adjustments. You'll see you can change the way that the image appears inside of the box it's setting in. In most cases, you wanna keep this setting to fill because that will make sure nothing is distorted. If the top or the bottom of the photo is being cut off or even one of the sides, you can position it however you'd like by hitting the arrows up or down. Containing the image, make sure that the full image is shown and nothing is cut off, which sounds great, but often this adds weird gaps on either side of the photo, depending on the dimensions of the image. So you'll wanna use that option sparingly to provide the best look possible on your website. You'll almost never want to use the stretch option because this will stretch it in a way that makes you look like really wide or really tall and skinny or just really just makes that image looking pretty distorted and actually pretty unpolished as well. So yeah, just basically never use that stretch option unless you really find it necessary. And finally, if you're looking at your photo and thinking, man, I wish this was just like cropped a little bit or zoomed in, that's what the scale option is for. You can adjust the percentage up or down and then play with the horizontal and vertical settings until you're happy with the way it all looks. Now let's move on to how to work with galleries. You'll first wanna click on the gallery in your design that you wanna edit. Then we'll swap the default images already in the gallery with your own photos. Under the gallery images tab on the right sidebar, click the blue manage images button, which will open up the gallery manager. First, make sure to remove all of the default images by shift clicking all of the photos and hitting the red trash can on the bottom. Because remember, you cannot use the preset photos that are already in your design. Then we can add the images you want from your media library. Once you hover over the image, there's a little check mark to select the images that you wanna add. Then you can just hit the arrow to add them to the gallery. Keep doing this for each photo until you're happy with the selection. You can also adjust the order of the photos by dragging them around here on the right, then hit save and then you're all set. Now, if you wanna add an additional gallery that doesn't already exist in your design, you can do this by hovering over the middle option at the very bottom of your screen and then hitting gallery. Then you can add all of the photos that you want. So you may be thinking, man, this all sounds great, but where do I even find photos to put in my website in the first place? I hear you, girl. Sometimes it's hard coming up with the right photos for your website. First of all, you do need to have photos of you on your website. Even if that means having your husband or your sister snap some photos of you or run outside and take some pictures of you out there. But seriously, having photos of you is really a non-negotiable. If you have the money for a brand photo shoot, obviously this is the best option, but I know that's not always possible for everyone, especially if you're just starting out. I had to scrounge at first too. We've all been there, but the most important part is that you do have photos of you on it. But for the rest of your photos, sister, stock photography is where it's at. 
I honestly didn't even know stock photos existed a until a couple years ago and now they're my lifesaver. My favorite place to find style stock photos are Social Squares by Shay Crocker and I'll leave a link below so you can go check it out. You do have to get a subscription but let me tell you it is worth every single stinking penny to have those photos at my fingertips whenever I need them. A few other great stock photography resources are Unsplash and Pexels and I'll leave those down below as well. But all you need to do on there is just search for the photo that you want and then hit download. And if you have a favorite free stock photography or paid stock photography website, please go ahead and share it down in the comments and help your fellow entre entrepreneurs and myself out. I always love finding new places to find photos for my website. The most important thing really is just that you are changing out the photos in your design to ones that you own because it is not legal to use the placeholders that are in the design to start with. Now, once you get all your photos added and edited in your design, you'll wanna make sure that the mobile version looks perfect as well. Often we forget to pay attention to the mobile version of the website, and then when we pop on over into it, it is seriously a hot mess. Yes, we have all been there. <laughs> but I have a hack to make editing that mobile side a lot easier. So if you wanna catch that, be sure and watch the next video. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this. I'll see you in that next video.